What is up guys and welcome back. Here's Italy turn 16. Um, whatever year that is, January 44 or something. So starting off with tech, I pondered this one many nights. Uh, it's a really tough choice here at the end of the game, but Mussolini has decided that we are going to start development on a heavy strategic bomber model to uh, pay the Americans back. Uh, so let's roll for a nine here. And we miss with a six. Okay, purchase. We had uh, 17. So we're going to spend four on a colonial, four on an advanced artillery, and three on three, in, or nine on three infantry. Okay, we have one absolutely psychotic attack, um, but we're having fun, so let's do it. Um, Okay, we've got three planes from Northern Italy. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna wave at the Americans as we fly over. And then from uh, Tanganyika here, these guys can go one, two, three. So every single plane in this fight will have one move left and uh, yeah, we're going to do a round of combat here and then land in Malta. Okay. That's our only combat move. So let's do it. The Italians have one, two, three fighters. And attack bomber. The seaplane doesn't have any targets. Uh, I wonder why he's there. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's roll this. Look at that, four hits. Heck yeah. All right, um, Global War 36 Enthusiast, you can take those uh, casualties as you see fit. This combat is not gonna go longer than one round. Um, so four hits there for you. One of them, of course, has to be the fighter, which is the whole point of this. Okay, um, now defending, we have one, two, three, four, Five heavy cruisers, a fighter, and then a light carrier. Okay. All right, one, two, three, four, five heavy cruisers, light carrier, fighter. That Turkish destroyer is not at war with me. So, yeah. Let's do this. Have mercy. One, two, three hits. Okay, so I brought in five planes. We'll lose the tack bomber, the seaplane, and a fighter, and survive with two fighters there. Okay, so these three guys will perish. We're gonna retreat from this combat here. Uh, the British are gonna have to lose this fighter. And then um, at least two heavy cruisers. We'll take the FEC guy. Um, and then either a heavy cruiser or that light cruiser, whichever Global War 36 enthusiast decides. Okay. So moving on to non-combat moves. Uh, two fighters are going to land in Malta. Boop. Um... And then following up, two air transports. You're going to grab two infantry from Tanganyika. And go one, two, three, four, also into Malta. Radical, okay. Um, I guess staying down here in Africa, we are going to move an infantry into Abyssinia, an infantry into Italian Somaliland from, or Abyssinia from Italian Somaliland. Sedan 
two Abyssinia, two infantry now in Abyssinia, uh, and infantry from Belgian Congo is going to walk into Sudan, and that airborne is going to hang out and uh, die. Okay, because they have to take that rail back. I suppose since he's got the tanks, I could leave an infantry there, but he's got plenty of planes. He'll do it. It's it's fine. Okay. Um, what else was I going to do? I don't have many units left on the board. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is rail a motorized infantry from northern Italy to uh, Eastern Yugoslavia. And that's it. Cool. Okay. Um, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, that should be good. All right, let's place the units. Uh, three infantry and an advanced artillery into northern Italy. And this colonial infantry will, where you go? Go into Italian Somaliland. I kind of wanted to put him in Cyrenaica, but We'll keep on messing around down here for a little bit longer. Um, okay, and I believe our income is down to 15. So we'll collect 15 bucks for next turn, I think. And that will conclude the Italian turn. Alrighty, I will see you guys next time.